I'd just like to welcome all of you to the celebration of the first Luwuto Library at the Fountain of Hope Drop-in Center for Sweet Children in Kamwala, Lusaka. inauguration is a momentous occasion. The library that we are celebrating today is unique, and it is the first of at least a hundred that we plan to build. Its architecture, as you can see, is based on indigenous styles, and it was conceived to create a profound, safe, and welcoming space for the children it was built to serve, and to reconnect them with society. It is a concrete and enduring recognition that they are important and cared for members of the Zambian and international communities, and a reminder that making the effort to help them to thrive will enrich all our lives and society as a whole. This library is beautiful and special, but it is much more than a building filled with shelves of books. For the young people assembled here with us today, and for many others who will find their way here. It is a refuge from life on the streets, a place where they can just be children and where books will allow them to dream and envision a better future. Libraries link the past, present, and future, and our wonderful buildings will be a refuge where children can connect with their cultural past and the community around them and cultivate skills and hope for the future. Finally, I want to remind our very honored guests today, the street kids and other vulnerable children, that all of this effort is for you. Everyone who contributed in any way did so because they care about you and want to help make your lives better. As you are enveloped in these beautiful buildings, and are enlightened and transported by their offerings, please experience that as the continual expression of love that it is. Thank you. To the children at today's event, I encourage you to read. Reading will give you pleasure all your life, and it is also the secret to your greatest success. As a good reader, you will have more opportunities in the future. President Bush joins me in sending best wishes for a great book-filled event. Sincerely, Laura Bush. Thank you. Once there was a peddler who sold cups. He carried them on top of his head. As he went along, he called, cups, cups for sale, 50 cents a cup. But nobody wanted any cups that morning. Nobody wanted even a red cup. He began to feel very hungry but he had no money for lunch. I think I will go for a walk in the country, said he. He 
walked for a long time until he came to a great big tree. That's a nice place for him. So deep. And he sat down very slowly under the tree and leaned back little by little. So he went to sleep. He slept for a long time. When he woke up, he was refreshed and rested. But before standing up, he felt his hand to make sure his cups were in the right place. All he felt was his own checked cup. behind the tree, no cups. Then he looked up into the tree, and what do you think he saw? On every branch sat a monkey. On every monkey was a gray, or a brown, or a blue, or a red cup. The peddler looked at the monkeys. The monkeys looked at the peddler. He didn't know what to do. Finally, he spoke to them. You monkeys, you, he said, shaking a finger at them. You give me back my cup. At last, he became so angry that he pulled off his cup, his own cup, threw it on the ground, and began to walk away. But then each monkey pulled off his cup, and all the gray cups, and all the brown cups, and all the blue cups, and all the red cups, them flying down out of the tree. So the peddler picked up his cups and put them back on his head and slowly, slowly he walked back to town calling cup, cup for sale, 50 cents a cup. The Library Project is indeed a source of enlightenment. This great service to the orphans and the other vulnerable children will go a long way in answering to the needs of many in our country still living in darkness, overwhelmed, overwhelmed by ignorance, disease, and exploitation by the greedy and the powerful. So I wholeheartedly congratulate you, Madam President, for conceiving such noble and brilliant idea. To your entire team, both here and the United States, which has worked hard to bring this project to fruition and made opening of the first Lubuto Library House possible, I also say congratulations. Lubuto is therefore most welcome. Let us get into the libraries and grow in knowledge and power for the good of our country and mankind. I've been watching all the plays and uh, storytelling and so forth, and uh, I note always with enjoyment that uh, Zambians tend to switch from one language to the other without any effort. And uh, I think that's one of the things that when I hear, I always want to shout, one Zambia. <laughs> because it's really a testimony of what this country is. I think we've heard a story, the first one was in Bemba, then it switched to Runda, we heard Nyanja, switched to Bemba, to English, to... So it's a one Zambia, one nation. We are